It's going to be closed uh, for part of a big project going on in the sports complex. KCTV 5's Casey Jones is live from I-70. Casey, uh, what changes are drivers going to notice after this work is done? So it's pretty hard to see behind me because it's so dark, but there's a couple bridges back there that are going to be completely demolished and replaced. And all the left exits of this highway are going to be removed. This is for the partial turbine interchange construction here at I-435 and 70. It's a four... $47 million project and a lot of work goes into this. To demolish the bridges, crews will drop it onto the roadway below. So, of course, drivers can't be on the highway when that happens. Crews will, will, begin, will begin hammering the bridges apart to break them down starting tonight. Westbound I-70 will be closed between Route 291 and I-470 and I-435. Eastbound I-70 will be closed at I-435. MoDOT officials say this is a short-term inconvenience for a long-term benefit. We've been uh, gluing these bridges back together, doing their maintenance on them over the years. All new structures flowing smoothly. And on top of that, none of the left exits that were there, which were always causing problems with traffic flow, uh, will exist. This this uh, partial turbine takes them out and around. Everything's a right exit. So it's a much better, much more functional interchange. Traffic control will start at 8 to start getting drivers off the highway. Remember, this will remain closed until 5 a.m. on Monday, but no need to worry. We have Bill Hurlbrink in the studio. He is uh, looking at some detours for you. Bill, what can you tell us about getting around this? All right, so Casey, if you've driven that stretch here recently, you've seen the signs up there for the detours. MoDOT's going to recommend you take 470 as a detour. That's the recommended point they have. And of course, that's where the detours are, or that's where the closure is between 291 on the east, 435 on the west. So again, 470 is their recommended detour. That'll keep you at speed, but it'll take you all the way down to Lee Summit, the Triangle, and back up north or vice versa. Keep in mind, there's also some other alternate routes you might keep in mind just depending on where you're starting out from and what your destination is. So 40 Highway, 23rd Street, or 24 Highway will all also work as alternate routes, but just to remember, there's going to be a lot of extra traffic on those streets as well. For the morning drive, everything's looking pretty good this morning. Not seeing any big delays around town. We'll keep watching it with on-time traffic.